I'm at Caesars Creek Glider Club today, and this is an airplane tow plane, and this tow plane will be used to tow gliders. Now this airplane, let me get out of the way, this airplane is a, a former crop duster, and this is a Piper Pawnee. Now what we'll notice about this Piper Pawnee that's different from regular Pawnees is that this airplane used to spray crops. Uh, it had a spray boom, and the spray boom was underneath the wing here and it would spray pesticide on cornfields and bean fields. What's different about this airplane is that now that we tow gliders with it, that all of that's been removed. There's a hopper, there's a, a big chemical tank where they would put pesticide in the airplane, and that is now empty. The other thing that's different is we put a tow hook on it. Now this tow hook carries a tow rope and we'll tow gliders with it. In this example, we're going to look at a major alteration. And this major alteration is where we would take this Piper Pawnee, and here's, here's the finished airplane. This is configured as a tow plane, but the airplane started with the spray booms, and you can see the old spray mounts are still there. So these spray booms were removed from the airplane, and then the tow hook was installed. So the, the reason this is a major alteration is because this is not what this airplane was designed to do. So is it strong enough? Has anybody looked at the strength requirements? So this is not the type of, al of alteration that I would just walk up and do to an airplane as an A&P mechanic. Uh, we have to get with the FAA, we have to submit data, or we have to buy a engineering package from someone who has put together a modification kit. And this has to be FAA approved. Here is a close-up of this tail wheel. So someone had to look at the tail wheel and see if it was strong enough to take this bar that's going to hook up to the tow rope for the glider. So the purpose of a major repair or major alteration is that someone will examine the data. It will be someone with an inspection authorization or it will be the FAA. Someone has to come up with a source of data that is either approved or acceptable. And these are the two types of data, approved data and acceptable data. And depending on what category of data it is, will depend on how we will proceed with the modification. The easiest, most common way of approved data is to use what's called a supplemental type certificate. And an STC is where someone does an aftermarket modification. Maybe they're going to sell tow hooks. And they have all the paperwork that has been already approved by the FAA and it has to be approved for our airplane, not just for the modification, but for our airplane. And our airplane will be listed on what's called an approved model list. The other way to do it is if we use what's called acceptable data. Now the AC4313 is the book that we carry around all the time as mechanics and that has acceptable data and there's a process where an, an, someone with an inspection authorization can review this data and make sure it's appropriate to the airplane and it meets some other criteria and that will be the basis for our information on whether or not we can modify something. A tow hook, that's a big deal. That's going to have to uh, go through something like an STC. Our third means is that the FAA can come out and look at it or they can send it to FAA engineer. FAA engineering and they can do what's called a field approval and some of these modifications are done with field approval. Of course once we have hopefully approved data uh, we will proceed and we will document this with an FAA, FAA form 337 and the 337 is a form for major alteration or major repair and that will be documented and it will be attached to the aircraft records and also recorded in Oklahoma City at the FAA.